When you have been asked to deploy a new product in your environment, the first question that comes in mind is what are the various options available to deploy and which one is suitable for me? So in this section, we are going to explore answers to these queries. So the first deployment option available to you is simple management and configuration. So this would depend on what are the tasks that you want to perform using Big IQ. If you want to perform ta simple tasks like taking backups, license management, uh, configuring uh, local traffic and security policies, then you go with simple management. In this case, the components that are required for you to go with simple management would be one or more Big IQ CDM, the Big IP devices that you are going to manage, and this type of deployment would use a single management network throughout. The second deployment option available is advanced management and configuration. So apart from the tasks that we have seen in, in simple management, we will get additional options in this deployment, which would be like collecting various traffic logs, statistics, any events and alerts which are being generated from your big IP devices. And then the components that are required for you to implement this would be one or more big IQ system, the big IP devices that you are going to manage and the data collection devices. Apart from this, the additional external storage, if you want to store the logs for a longer period and this type of deployment would require a single management network apart from an internal big IQ cluster network. The last type of deployment available is large scale distributed management and configuration. In this kind of deployment, it would depend on how many data centers that you have. If you want to separate out your management between different data centers, you want to make sure the management traffic um, and the way that the big IQ and big IP devices are interacting is completely different across different data centers. Now, in order to go with large scale deployment, you will be using one or more big IQ systems, the big IP devices that we are going to manage, DCDs, as well as an external storage device. And this type of deployment would need three separate connections. One is your external network, the management network, and an internal big IQ cluster network. So let's have a closer look on all these deployment options to get a better understanding. The first is simple management and configuration. In this case, you can either have a single big IQ system, or if you want to go with HA, you can install multiple big IQ system as a stand active and standby. Then Installing big IQ DCDs are optional and you connect your big IQ CMs with the big IP device and all these devices are in a single network. The big IQ system uses traffic on the management network to first is enabling bi-directional traffic between your big IQ system as well as the big IPs. It also enables the traffic between your big IQ, big IQ systems, which is the active and the standby, so that they are in a synchronized status. And this interface also gives you a way to access the device itself. If you are planning to deploy simple management, you can use this format to record the IP addresses of each devices in your big IQ deployment. Moving ahead to advanced management and configuration. In this, we can see apart from management network, we also have a DCD cluster and an internal network. So we are going to use two different networks. The big IQ system uses the traffic on the management network to perform bi-directional communication between your big IQ as well as the big IP devices. 
then it also enables the traffic between your big iq active as well as standby so to make sure these are synchronized and the third part is to provide you access to the device itself the dcd cluster network is used to replicate the data to maintain the big iq centralized management cluster and it is a best practice to isolate the traffic between your big iq cluster nodes for performance and improved security if you are planning to go ahead with advanced deployment you can use this format to record all your ip addresses for different components like big I, primary big iq system secondary big iq system the dcds the big ips which are involved if in the remote storage devices and with respect to this what are the ips in your management network as well as the dcd cluster network moving ahead with the large scale and distributed deployment you have three different networks the management network the dcd cluster network and your internal network the big iq system uses the traffic on the management network for bidirectional communication between your big iqs so that it can exchange the information between uh, active and standby big iq and make sure they are synchronized and the management network is also used for you to access the device the dcd cluster network is used to provide communication between big iq system and the dcd nodes and also to replicate the data that maintains the big iq centralized management cluster it is always a best practice to isolate the traffic between big iq cluster nodes for performance and improved security the internal network is used to route the bidirectional traffic between your big iq cm cluster and the big ip devices so if we compare this specific setup with the previous setups which was using management network as a dedicated communication in this case we have internal traffic network which is used for bidirectional communication between your big iq centralized management cluster and the big ip devices with the addition of dcd cluster you can manage the alerts and events which are occurring on your managed devices if you are planning to go with large scale deployment you can utilize this format to note down all the various ips for various components which you are going to deploy in your environment now thinking about the deployment type if you are going to deploy big iq where you also want statistics to be enabled you want the alerts and events which are occurring in your environment so for big iq the cpu requirement would be 8 gb and 32 gb the ram would be 32 gb and generally the disk space should be 95 gb if you have sufficient space then you can set it up as 500 gb for dcds the requirement would be for cpu as 8 gb and ram as 32 gb and initially for dcds it is required that you set up 500 gb of disk space now if you want a big iq deployment with only alerts and events enabled then for in that case the big iq you can start with 4 vcpu and ram as 16 gb and as a general practice initial 95 gb or if sufficient space is there you can set up as 500 gb or let's say if you have a requirement where you don't want uh, the statistics or alerts then you can go with the only big iq and no dcds with this it will be 4 or 8 cpus 
and the RAM you can choose as per your requirement. With this, we have covered the overall deployment options available with BigIQ.